Thomas here again, and uh, in this video, I want to discuss how to set up the golden mean. Uh, how do you actually do it? Now, I hope you've seen my other videos where I describe that you should swing into the ball and up. In other words, change direction at ball contact. And that's basically what the golden mean is. But how do you do that? And I don't want to get mechanics into it because I think if I told somebody just to go out and hit the ball and change direction, they would do a lot of mechanics right, most of them. But the there, there's several ways you could change direction. One is with your arm, right? Boom, boom. The other is with your wrist. You know, you could do something like this. But I'm gonna tell you what I think is the best one and what the pros do is they use their forearm. Now, uh, how many of you guys know who this guy is? <laughs> Okay, you all know Popeye, and he's got gigantic arms, and they always grow when he eats spinach. And that's the way I would like you to think about changing direction is with your forearms. Pros have massive forearms because they use their forearms to hit the ball. And, and using a uh, semi-western grip on the forehand and same grip over here on the two-handed backhand uh, puts your arm in such a position that when you rotate your forearm, you rotate it it's going to do tremendous things. By ro rotating my forehand arm, my racket is naturally going to go up and forward the 50 degrees that I say you should go up at when you contact the ball. So what you're going to do is come into the ball with a quiet forearm until you make contact, okay, right here. And at that point of contact, that's when your forearm rotates like this and you'll wind up over here like this. So you get a tremendous amount of power out of your forearm and there's probably little wrist maneuvers that add to it, but I would say most of it comes from this, right like this, and at contact, my forearm rotates. Now what that looks like is the windshield wiper, but if somebody showed you the windshield wiper, you're gonna miss hit the ball like crazy. What I want you to do is think about when, you, when the ball is compressed, that's when you go up. And when you do that, you'll wind up with the windshield wiper. So instead of somebody teaching you, and of course the windshield wiper, a lot of people try to go low to high with the windshield wiper. Somebody teaching you the windshield wiper, you'll wind up with tons of miss hits and you'll go Nyeh! and then you'll go back to your club shot because that way you can hit the ball. Because with the windshield wiper, I've never seen a student uh, that's new to it that can do anything with it. It's just a bunch of miss hits. But if you plan on going into the ball and then up at contact, and using the strength out of your, your Popeye-shaped forearms and rotating those, boom, like this, and then bah, you'll see where you wind up. You'll wind up where the pros wind up. You're gonna be like this, boom, and the forearm turns on at contact. Again, it's a timing thing. You go low to high slightly, hit the ball, and then that's where your, your forearms trigger and you're gonna wind up all the way over with your racket on the other side of the fence. With a two-handed backhand, you're gonna use the forearm of your left arm, and it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna come into the ball, boom, at contact, bang. You're gonna pop those forearms at contact, that forearm. And that's gonna give you a tremendous amount of hidden power. It's hard to see the pros do it, but that's what happens. And if you take a look, you'll see the rackets are going in a circle like this way. They are not going out this way because there, there will be no power by pushing through the ball and extending your arm. So use your forearm rotation, forearm rotation. When you go out to play, think you're Popeye, the sailor man. You've had some spinach, your forearms grew, and you're gonna pound the crap out of that thing with using this and your other body parts. So I hope this is helpful, and uh, let me know how you do. I'd love to get some notes back, and uh, if this works for you, uh, let me know. Okay, take a look at these four great top spin hitters and look how their racket is tipped down at contact. The reason it's tipped down like this is because their forearm is wound up and ready to unwind like a spring. And their wrist is also unwound too, so it's kind of a combination of the two. But the racket is down at contact so that when you make contact with the ball and go into your spin angle, uh, 
it's all going to be rotating the heck out of your forehand and wrist. So that's what really produces tremendous top spin, and that's why these pros get tremendous top spin. So if you do this and get the timing right and work with the golden mean, you will get tremendous top spin. Minimally at contact, uh, if you drew a line from the butt of the racket to the top edge of the racket, it should be at least parallel to the ground or cocked down even more at contact. So this is how you would keep your arm wound up until contact. Just make sure that the racket is at least this far down and then at contact you unwind like a giant spring. Okay, now watch Roger Federer and see how his racket is well below his hand at contact. And then he rolls the heck out of his arm, which gives him the tremendous spin. Okay, here I am in slow motion again. And I want to do it one more time so you can see my, my uh, forearm do the Popeye. In other words, it rolls right at contact right there the forearm rolls and now i want to show you halep and djokovic doing exactly the same thing So if you do it right, you're going to feel like you have four arms like this guy, and you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 